Okay, this is a screenshot or a shot from a ventilator screen. And I want you to show you the target here. And we can tell the target just from looking at this um, at the screen, of course. But look here, the waveform here basically representing the pressure in the circuit. And the waveform here representing the flow, see volume per liter per minute. So this is the flow, as you see. And this is the volume. But I want you to look mainly at this one, at this one, and at this one. See the pressure waveform here, how it looks here, and how it looks here. They are different. They don't look the same. While here, look at this. They look the same every breath. And this is similar to this. So you can tell that this is a flow decelerating ramp target. Because simply the flow is being the same. That's the target. So the ventilator keeping its promise by keeping it the way we told him to do it here. And the pressure is variable to keep this target. The maximum flow at the very beginning, the very peak set here is 52. And if you look here, it will be at 52 every time and then slowly coming down. If you go, if you have a ventilator in your ICU, just go and ask RT to give you the option of the flow target. You will see there is two options, this one and the square option. Of course, the pressure waveform will be different with the square because it has to keep this at 52 all the time while here it's 52 at the beginning and start coming down until it terminates and also look at this the green inspiration the yellow is expiration which we'll talk about later on so this is demonstration of the flow target and remember this is the flow sensitivity and the trigger is here is the ac trigger the assist and control we talked about it before